fragrant friends it's jay in today's video i'm going to be talking about fragrances that i've been wearing in the past couple of uh, weeks two weeks or so um, i've definitely been reaching for citrusy musky clean smelling fragrances um florals too but clean white florals um and there's one that i've been going back to i've been testing a lot of fragrances lately too but there is one that i have definitely gone back to over and over again it's special to me so i'll definitely share that with you as well um as i've said before um if you're new i don't know if you've heard in previous videos but i work in healthcare um and so when i'm at work i like to choose fragrances that are more on the clean side fresh um citrusy there there can be some musk there too but in general they need to sit a little bit closer to skin um and just give a, a clean smelling a clean feeling and a clean vibe you know I never want somebody to be overwhelmed when I'm, I'm treating them and I never want somebody to you know have a bad reaction or have allergies or anything to my fragrance so close to me clean smelling um, there is a certain elegance I think to these fragrances they're simple and I think that simple can be elegant um, as well so let's just go ahead and get into the video um, the first one that I have been loving on is Twilly D'Hermes. This is the original, the EDP. And this one is just a, a clean, I'll just get give you the vibe that I get from these fragrances. I'll put the notes up, but we'll just quickly go through the vibe, okay? Um, clean white bar of soap with a little bit of vanilla added to it. Um, some, It's very, very smooth. That sandalwood in here just makes it very, very smooth. There is a little bit of spice from the ginger up top. For me, the ginger feels a little bit more soapy and clean. That spice is not um, a heavy spice. It's just a really great, great, clean, slightly sweet, smooth feeling fragrance. And the way it wears on skin, it's just smooth and soft with the sandalwood. So I'm really been, I've really been loving this fragrance lately. You could definitely interchange um, the EDP with the O'Ginger, which is my favorite, but I've been giving this one some love lately. Um, the O'Ginger for me is a little bit different just because it has that peony note in it, um, but really they dry down very similarly. So that is Twilly D'Hermes, the EDP. I have to sit it up just a little bit more, but I'm just gonna put it down. Um, the next fragrance, uh, I wore to work one day. I, I don't know. I, I wasn't feeling it. Maybe it was a little bit too hot. I still do love this fragrance. Um, maybe it was just that day, but I felt like it was a little bit um, heavy for that day. So this is Dolce & Gabbana Pour Femme. There is orange blossom in here. There's raspberry marshmallow. Um, I definitely still get that plasticky note in here, but I like it. I think it works well. And some days it's more pronounced than others. Um, maybe that's what it was that day because I'm feeling it's a little bit heavy today with that. But I, I think I like this fragrance for cooler weather. Um, so this is uh, Dolce & Gabbana Pour Femme. It's still a beautiful fragrance. Raspberry, marshmallow, and orange blossom. So a little bit sweet, a little bit on the sweeter side. Um, one that is new to my collection that... This is my favorite uh, light blue. This is light blue forever. This I would choose over the original any day. Um, I feel like this fragrance has more musk. I feel like this fragrance also um, is definitely heavier on the white florals. And I, it, the, the musk and the white florals, the way that they wear together um, as this fragrance dries down. Oh man, this is, this is definitely something i would always have this is the version of light blue that i would choose forever so that's kind of corny but it's true um <laughs> um yeah the the it's zesty on top with the apple and the citrus just the musk the heavy white florals and um the way it dries down that woodiness is really really um this is really my style so this is the light blue forever this is the one that i would choose um, another Dolce, I, get, I guess I've been feeling Dolce lately, um, but this is Dolce by Dolce & Gabbana. And this is that very clean, watery, but smooth with the fluffy musk type of um, fragrance. Very, very feminine. I feel like this is very elegant. Um, 
loving on this fragrance um if i could i would definitely buy another bottle of this fragrance too if it were to um run out i might you know i spray it a lot so this is really beautiful so that's dolce the edp by dolce and gabbana okay this next one um this is one that I, I have been reaching for a lot lately. I've worn this at least five or six times within the past couple of weeks. And this is Guerlain. This is one of the Aqua Allegorias. And this is Nerolia Bianca. Yes, Nerolia Bianca. Now these fragrances, I mean, this is perfect because it's still hot here in Houston. Um, the levels of humidity have fluctuated lately. It's been a little bit better, but it's pretty humid and hot. So um this is a orangey fragrance now i do like oranges clearly i like orange blossom i like actual like orange in fragrances but it has to be um without the herbs i used to have the mandarin basilic of this brand of this line and it's the herbal nature of orange herbs mixed with orange that i don't like and i think there was um what is it called that that target brand um that was a tangerine sit a tangerine fragrance but i didn't like it because it had an herbal feel to it i feel like it goes in a masculine um direction for me but this one has neroli um this one has orange blossom this one has orange and there's a muskiness to it as well so it feel there's it's like a there's a bitterness because of the, you know, the neroli and the pedigrain. I think there's pedigrain in here too, which is kind of bitter, like the stems. Um, a little bit bitter, slightly sweet, orangey, um, but there is also a musk to this fragrance as well. And again, the way it wears on skin is really, really nice. Um, it's really nice. It's almost like a, like a powderiness to it that like a pez my, my it reminds me <laughs> of a sweet tart um i don't know it's just not too sweet but also it, that sweetness keeps the bitterness in check um it's very well balanced and i just love the way it wears on my skin so this is nerolia bianca by um, guerlain i actually think this one is discontinued please don't go out and buy the um the discontinued aqua allegorias for those high high prices um there's always going to be something that you can find that's similar and really the lasting i mean unless it's worth it to you i can't tell you what to do of course but um i would just say you know there's probably something similar maybe i should find something similar to this that i can recommend for you guys but um i paid about 35 40 dollars for this bottle it was a tester so um that's what i would recommend you kind of stay in that price range of if you're looking for this fragrance in particular so that is Nerolia bianca by guerlain and the last one this one is one that i is new but i've been going back and i've been wearing this to bed now this is um bois bois dear uh, amand let me say that right. Bois Diamond. And I hope that is right. But this is almond wood, okay? Um, this is Van Cleef and Arpel. And this is the collection Extraordinaire. This fragrance has lemon and almond at the top. Um, there's musk and there's cedar in here. And it's just well balanced. This fragrance is, is very musky um it's almondy there's a little bit of brightness from the lemon it's not necessarily a uh, citrus that i get but it's brightened up oh and it just is a cozy but um it's not too heavy at all it's just very airy very light um i will say that some people have compared this to um, baccarat rouge 540 and i think that it's just because of that airiness there is a sweetness to this fragrance and a, a slight woodiness to this fragrance too so sweet airy wood kind of gets compared to that baccarat which is understandable i think um, i can understand it but i don't think that it necessarily smells like baccarat um 
it's just a beautiful fragrance definitely cozy uh, like I said I've been wearing this to bed I could see this being really nice in the cooler weather I might consider wearing this to work in the cooler weather um, but it's just the I can this is overtaking everything this and the the light blue just the way that they wear and that cloud that they you know surround you with that fluffiness uh, I, I I love these types of fragrances so um, this is definitely one that you'll see in the future for me because this is going to get a lot of wear um but yeah those are the fragrances that i've been reaching for lately um what have you guys been reaching for let me know in the comments um that's it that's it for today uh appreciate all your support love jay bye bye